hey man, I want to do this Vlad thing. And this dude was like, yo, I got, I know Vlad, I know his people, I'm gonna hook that up. I said, bet. That's how I got it through Series oh, Okay. And so I got on there because me and Vlad knew the same people and sure. shit. You know, he had the same barber I had. And I was like, boom, and I met, I didn't know he was white. Right, right, Russian. Russian dude, mm -hmm. Ukrainian, bro. I was mm -hmm. like, oh shit, you white. I didn't know because he was off camera. Right, sure. And I was like, okay. So we just started rolling, me and then me, Lord Jamal. I was like, and people was like, man, we love you, Vlad. And it was fun. Right. I knew what the what I was there for. Right, sure. I was there sure. to get numbers, there to just keep relevant, and it was working. It was, you know? it was killing it, bro. It was working. It so was I get to do voices, just act a fool. I was there for numbers. And all of a sudden, you know, he's interviewing D.L. Hughley, and he's talking about Minister Farrakhan. And he's like, yeah, I don't like what Farrakhan said. Da, da, da. I said, first of all, you don't have to agree. There's black people that don't agree with Farrakhan. That's mm -hmm. fine. But I was like, what did he say? And it was a speech that I heard, because I listened to Minister. I've listened to him for years. Right. So I watched him do one of his last speeches on 4th of July. Okay. And, you know, he's a little older, so he goes a little slower. So I was like, I listened to the whole thing. And then Vlad said, yeah, Minister said that we should throw rocks at Jewish people. I say, he didn't say that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's... He don't talk like that. Right. He don't never say no shit like that. And I was like, he talks about the discrepancy, you know, the fighting between the Jewish community and the black community, but he never said no violence towards Jews. Never. I, he never right. said that. And I said, you lying, dude. He didn't say that. He used a metaphor. What he said was, as Muslims, we take the rock of truth and we throw it right. at you. That's, he's it's a, a very intelligent right. man. Right, sure. He's a master violinist, if you know that. He's mm -hmm. a master, he's a very intelligent man. I said, he didn't say that, dude. Stop, dude. And right. and, and he goes, I, I said, well, uh -huh. me and Lord Jamar called him. We said, we ain't going to be no bitches. We're going to fight. We're going to confront sure, you. Sure, real and shit. And say, hey, man, you got to, you're going to send an apology. A rebuttal. Bro. Right, right, right. And he right. goes, I sent one. He goes, that looked like a technical difficulty, dude. You did not send an apology, bro. Send an apology. And we're talking to him. He goes, well, I said, I, I'm not going to be bullied. No one's bullying you, dude. Uh -huh. Don't, now you, now you a white dude again. Now you doing being white boy now. Mm -hmm. Now you you know you 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 taking off you sucking off a of black black culture you taking all you know you making money off black culture mm -hmm. you you fuck with black girls shame on them mm -hmm. you know what I mean oh, shit. and now you know because they giving you that confidence to talk crazy to us mm -hmm. that's what's happening mm -hmm. they giving you confidence these black women give you confidence to disrespect brothers like us so I'm like this. Listen, man, you got a pot. And Lord Jamar said, yo, you know what? Fuck it then. You're going to stand on your culture because my thing is, and this is no disrespect to Vlad. We're not beefing or nothing. All right, sure, sure. He's, a, he's not a practicing Jewish man. He's an atheist. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even believe in God. Mm -hmm. But now, all of a sudden, you're back to being a, a right, oh, right. he's anti. Right, what? Right, right, now right, you didn't right, switched. Right. You're not even, you don't even believe in God. And, and Farrakhan is a God-fearing man. Mm -hmm. So you're going to like say the wrong shit about him. And then to top it off, you got Muslims that have given you interviews. Mm. Wesley Muhammad, they all come on his mm. show. And then they giving you protection on the street. And you're going to talk about their leader. I just don't even understand right, right, right. Should, how yeah, you can yeah. even do that. But that's yeah. the disrespect of black men. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, I swear to God, and this is not all white folks, but a lot of them don't even look at our existence. They don't even think we count. They said, just do our shit. They don't think we count as human beings. And you don't even respect an elder. He's an elder. Whatever, whether you like Farrakhan or not, he's an elder. Been married to his wife for 67 years, bro. Been speaking for six. Mm -hmm. He's an elder. I don't give a fuck if it's Al Sharpton. I be agree. disagree. Sometimes I do Al Sharpton, but he's still an elder, bro. But black culture knows that. Black culture. Black culture knows how to respect their we elders. We have to learn White folks to start talking. Right. White kids reckless to their parents off the, the store and shit. But look, look at like, what the look hell? Look at what happened to Whoopi.